My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right. Astrid wants me to spy on Cicero. Climbing into the Night Mother's coffin. I suppose I am suited for the job since I'm at home with coffins. Oh, here we are. Are we alone? Yes. <laughs> yes! Alone! <laughs> Sweet solitude! No one will hear us, disturb us. Everything is going according to plan. The others, I've spoken to them, and they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex. <laughs> Perhaps even the Argolian and the Unchild. What about you? Hmm? Have you have you spoken to anyone? No. No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do? Hmm? Nothing. Not. I'm angry. No, oh, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. And obeys. You will talk when you're ready, won't you? Won't you? Sweet night, mother. Oh, Cicero. Oh, Dear what? Cicero, such a but he will never hear my voice. For he is not a listener. Oh, but how can I defend you? How can I exert your will if you will not speak to anyone? Oh, but I will speak. I will speak to you. For you are the one. Me, Night Mother? Yes. You who shares my iron tomb, who warms my ancient bone, I give you this task. Journey to woman. Speak with Armand Portier. Poor Cicero has failed you. Poor Cicero is sorry, sweet mother. I've tried. So very hard, but I just can't find the listener. <laughs> Tell Cicero, the time has come. Tell him the words he has been waiting for all these years. Darkness rises when silence dies. <laughs> of course, Mother. What? What treachery? 
Defiler! Debaser and defiler! You have violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin! Explain yourself! Speak, worm! <laughs> Would it help if I told you that I was a vampire? I was tired. I needed some place to rest. No? Then, perhaps I should tell you that the Night Mother spoke to me. She said, I am the one. She spoke to you? Yes. More treachery. More trickery and deceit. You lie! The Night Mother speaks only to the listener! And there is no listener! <laughs> Wait, Cicero. You're probably the closest thing I have to a friend. So I'm not here to deceive you or hurt you. The Night Mother said to tell you, Darkness rises when silence dies. She... She said that. She said those words. To you. Darkness rises when silence dies. But those are the words. The binding words. Written in the keeping tones. A signal so I would know. Mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. Then it's true. <laughs> She's back. Her lady is back. She has chosen a listener. <laughs> she has chosen you. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, what's this? This ends now. Back away, fool. Whatever you've been planning is over. Are you all right? I heard the commotion. Who was Cicero talking to? Where's the apartments? Reveal yourself, traitor. I spoke only to the Night Mother. I spoke to the Night Mother, but she didn't speak to me. Oh, she spoke only to him, to the listener. What? The listener? What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? It's true. It's true. The Night Mother has spoken. The silence has been broken. The listener has been chosen. Thank you, Cicero. When I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you all right? <laughs> oh, Astrid. You look like you've just seen a ghost. Please tell me you haven't. Cicero said he spoke to the Night Mother, but she spoke to you. Astrid. You probably should be sitting down for this. But it's true. The Night Mother spoke to me. She said I was the one. What? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Just the Night Mother's body? And the Night Mother who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. Right now. To you? Yes. I'm sorry to disappoint you. By Sithis. And? What did she say? That I must speak to someone named Amon Mortier in Valenry. Amand Motier? I have no idea who that is, but Valenrood. That I have heard of. And I know where it is. So, I'm planning to go there. 
And I'm planning to talk to this man. Hmm. No. no. What? Listen, I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Are Do I? That? The Night Mother may have spoken to you, but I am still the leader of this family. I will not have my authority so easily dismissed. I... I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. Hmm. I'm amused that you actually think you have authority here, Astrid. <laughs> you exist because I allow it. And you will end because I demand it. Now, my dear friend Cicero, is there anything else? Oh, you are the listener, you are the listener. I have served Mother well, I have. <laughs> Cicero, I must ask, did you want to be the listener? Oh, well, yes, I did. I did indeed. I tried to listen, <laughs> tried so hard. But the Night Mother never spoke to poor Cicero. The silence became almost... maddening. Almost. Oh, but that was then. This is now. You're the listener, and the Night Mother chose you for a reason, I'm sure. Cicero will remain the happy keeper. Will the Night Mother speak to me? Again. Ah, surely you're pulling Cicero's leg. Wait. <laughs> the listener is serious. <laughs> oh. Well, of course the Night Mother will speak to you again. She might speak now or later or... I don't know. But speak she will. The Night Mother is part of you now. Really? You can hear voices inside your head. Interesting. The rest of us should be so lucky. <laughs> well, I'll tell you how lucky the rest of you are after I've dealt with having another voice inside my head. So tell me then, Cicero, what exactly does a listener do? Oh, the listener, well... Listens. <laughs> the Night Mother speaks to you, guides you on your path. But when the Night Mother speaks, the listener must obey. You must, for her word is the will of Sithis, and Sithis is the Dark Brotherhood incarnate. <laughs> All right then. Are you excited? You should be. Things are finally looking up. I'm excited if this means that my power can be increased. Oh, you are the listener. You are the listener. I have served Mother well, I have. <laughs> and let's hope that that's the case. All right, I'm supposed to talk to Nazir while Astrid fumbles with her issue surrounding her authority being usurped. To kill triplets secretly and then have the whole thing blamed on the mother. Remarkable. When I become wolf, I am treachery incarnate. And then, then, there is no one who can stand between the hunter and his prey. Nazir. Brother. Astrid wanted me to see you about more work. Well then, your timing couldn't be better. As it turns out, I've got two new contracts. One rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Your first target is an orc bard named Lurbuk. What? The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. Happy hunting. <laughs> yes, I've encountered Lurbuk. 
very early during my adventures here in Skyrim. Lurbuk was killed, as was much of the town of Morthal when we tried to storm a vampire lair. Wonderful. The only good bard is a dead one as far as I'm concerned. All that singing and mirth. Your payment, as per the usual. All right, well, tell me about this Hearn. He's a vampire and is has he? blended into human society for years. He's never far from his female companion, Hurt, also a vampire. The contract is for the male, Hearn, but you'll probably have to contend with the female, too. So for Sithis' sake, watch yourself. All right, very well, then. Go on now. When I become wolf, I am treachery incarnate. And then, then, there is no one who can stand between the hunter and his prey. So Babette hasn't told them that I'm a vampire yet. Uh, excuse me. Babette? You know, maybe I should teach her the illusion spell so that she could probably appear either as a little girl or a grown woman it would be her choice <clears throat> all right bandit let me see. Where is Hearn located? Here at the Half Moon Mill. All right, wait here. It's interesting, some of these uh, contracts that the Dark Brotherhood is giving me are for people I've already encountered. And or dead. As I remember, poor Lurbuk. He and all those people in Morthal charging the lair of Morvath only to be destroyed by an untold legion of death hounds. Ah, oh, Hearn. So, where is his companion? Well, that's no fun. I don't know, perhaps she's in hiding. All right, bandit, 
I'm headed back to talk to Nazir. Astrid, I hope you're feeling better. We need to talk. Do we? Has the time come? Will I now serve the Night Mother? Look, something is happening here. I'm not sure entirely what that something is, but... Well, we need to find out. If the Night Mother really did give you an order to talk to a contact, we'd be mad to ignore it. You would. And I think we'd both agree. Cicero's brought quite enough madness to this sanctuary. So go. Go to Volenrude. It's a crypt, pretty far to the northeast. Talk to this Armand Motier, and let's see where all this leads, hmm? Hmm. All right. She's coming to her senses. She'll get to live just a little bit longer. <laughs> And hail and hearty. What? You think me too old? Too feeble? There is more knowledge in me than in two of you pups put together. And knowledge... Knowledge is my weapon. Is this what you all do all day? Argue back and forth? Nazir. You're alive. Of but course. I guess you haven't paid a visit to the vampire yet, hmm? could be considered insulting. You may be happy to hear that Hearn is dead. No sarcasm this time. You faced a vampire and lived to tell the tale. Well done. And if you contracted Sanguinari Vampiris, be sure to get that taken care of. Else you'll end up like our own Babette. Unless, of course, that was your goal all along. Here's your payment. Well. You may be brighter than you look. <laughs> all right. I think that's it then for now. now. I need to talk with... Well, I don't need to talk with her. I need to go. Wait, is this money? No. I need to go and meet with Amon Motier. 